And now, the famous cups and balls trick. You have one, two, three cups. And of course, three balls. One, two, three. You place the three cups face down onto the table. You take the middle ball, place it onto the middle cup. You then cover it over with the two cups and wave your hands and magically the ball melts right through and lands back underneath, under the table. Now it happened so fast, so we do it again. Ready? So it's one, two, three cups. The middle ball placed on to the middle cup. Once again, you cover it over and the wave of the magic hands and the ball melts right through the cup and back onto the table. Now, we're going to cover the ball over. So we've got one ball under the cup and one ball now on top. One ball under, one ball on top. Watch closely as now it magically melts right through and joins the other ball onto the table. This time, we'll cover the two balls over at once and place one ball all the way over here, right on the end. I'll cover it over. Now watch. Did you see it go? It's gone. It's not there. It's traveled all the way over. And that, my friends, is called the Magic Cups and Balls. Now this is a secret to the Cups and Balls. The famous Cups and Balls. You have one, two, three cups. And of course, three balls. Oh, and of course I forgot to mention the extra ball as well. Without the extra ball, it wouldn't work. So you place, to start with, one ball into the middle cup. And place a cup over the top. So remember, you've got one, two, three cups. And in the middle cup is one ball to start with. Which, of course, the audience don't know that it's there. You place the three balls back into the top. Now, when you tip out the three balls, not only are you tipping them out, you're also showing them that the cup is empty. Don't mention that the cup is empty because you don't have to because they can see it is empty. Now, you then place the three balls in the row in front of you and then the three cups are placed face down. Now, what I just did there is what makes it work. This ball is under here as you can see. Now it's done in such a way that they don't notice it when you tip the ball over. Now this is the way it works. Put the ball back in the middle cup. The ball is now in the middle cup. Watch closely. When you hold the three cups, the other hand is face up to the ceiling and you bring your hand underneath the cups and you're going to grip the cups with this finger and thumb like this. And then you're going to simply turn it over. Now when you do this, make sure you keep every move the same. Don't rush one and then do a slow one on the other. So it's got to be nice and smooth. If you do it nice and smooth, it stops the ball from falling out. Let me show you what I mean. If it's done too slowly, this is what will happen. Okay. Now, on the other hand, what you don't want to do is do it too fast because it will look very suspicious if you do this. Okay, so keep the move nice and smooth each time. So it looks nice, so it looks natural. Because then they won't suspect anything. Then you place one ball on top. Now remember, we've already got one ball underneath, which they don't know about. So the ball goes on top. You take the other two cups. Now by tapping them together, it shows the people that the cups are solid. You don't mention that, but it shows that they are. Put one ball on top, sorry, cup on top of the ball, and the other cup on top. With your fingers, and magically, it melts, or apparently so, straight to the bottom. Then you do the move again, the exact same move. Okay, remember, keep it nice and smooth. Nothing suspicious. The ball goes on top. Remember, there's still one underneath. Tap them again. Cover it over. And the ball apparently melts right through. When you pick them up, keep all three nice together tightly and showing the inside once again. But don't mention it's empty. Don't draw attention to the cups. Now, this time the ball's left down on the table, and you're going to put the cup with the ball over this one, so you'll have two balls underneath the cup, like so. Okay, let me show you what I mean. There's two there. They only think there's one there. You then place one on top. You say you have one on top, one underneath, one on top, one underneath. You want them to remember there is only one ball under the cup and one on top. We know differently. When you cover it over, when you wiggle your fingers, it melts right through and joins the other one. 
so they believe. Now, this time, you're going to cover those two up. So now you have three balls already underneath the cup, like so. Now the last one is placed all the way to the end, and the cup's taken all the way to the side and covers it over. You do a little gesture with your fingers, pretending the ball has run from one side to the other. Okay, you may get a laugh, but it's a bit of fun. You want to have fun with this. And then, what you do, you lift both cups together at the same time, showing it's gone and showing it's appeared, apparently, under the cup. Now, of course, the ball is left in here. And all you do is simply stack the cups together, put the three balls back in, and then wait for your applause. That is the magic cups and balls.